Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed those last two Faction War videos that I posted out. Uh, it was an honor um, fighting for the Camping Rusher, and as you guys might have known, we did win. So yeah, it was a really good time. It was a nice long, it was almost two hours long that war was, but it was pretty fun. Had to use up all of my sets, so I mean, start to, start to collect again. I mean, I've almost got another double chest here. Of just from PvPing, so I should be fine. Uh, good. I'll have enough for the next war at least, or if if I do break into a big battle, I'll still have enough stuff to battle. But yeah, so um, for the for today's video, I'm going to take a step back, and um, I know that a bunch of my videos have been focusing on the higher level players, and um, it's time to take a step back, you know, and just start to help out all the newbies, like all the noobs who are just starting on factions. And just starting, like some people, some of them don't even know how to make uh, money yet. So hold on, TP here, insanity. So yeah, so this video is for you guys, all you people who are just starting out. Just uh, quick tips, a uh, quick money making tips that you guys can do in order to start making, in order to start making your basically your farm or your big money makers here on Factions Green or whatever, wherever server you're playing on on the Archon. So uh, today we're gonna make a, we're not gonna make a full. Uh, sugar cane room, but we're gonna teach you guys how to make a sugar cane room uh, basically how to make it efficient um, How to make it quick how to how to have it so that it's very uh, easily accessible to you guys and um, What are you doing Matthew? How long are we making this? I don't know let's just make it so we're not really gonna plan we're not we, we're kind of just doing this uh, on the fly I guess you could say we're just uh, going as we just building as we go sort of thing but basically, what you're gonna want to do is, you're, if you're gonna make an underground sugarcane farm, you're gonna want it to be um, three high. So, what what what's the grass here for? Uh, for the sugarcane. So then, above. So if the sugarcane is gonna get placed on here, so this slab is where the sugarcane would be. You're gonna want it to ha uh, be a three high block above it, so then the sugarcane can grow to its maximum height. So basically. We're gonna mine out this entire room. Let's just make it this big, Matthew, for now, right. and then we'll just uh, kind of show them how to build everything. So what you're gonna do is, you can use either sand or grass, and uh, this will hold the actual sugar cane. And then you can see that insanity left a little pathway here, and this is because that there has to be water on that side, and then the water will be the one that lets the sugar cane grow. Now, um, we're going to give you a couple more tips along with building this. I mean, a sugarcane farm is probably the most simplest and easiest farms you guys can do. Um, in uh, Brayden's recent videos, he's started on experimenting with, like, a cookie farm. I mean, I could probably do a video that in the future um, if you guys want a little bit more of an advanced uh, money-making method. But for the meantime, Matthew, so Insanity is placing ice, which you can get at Warp Shop. On the Archon servers, and then the, the the ice will basically turn into the water once he breaks it. So, a sugar cane needs a uh, light to a light source to grow. It needs um, three high block ceiling, and then it needs water on one of its sides. So, this is what Insanity is doing while I mine out the room. And yeah, so um, a lot of my videos recently have been focusing on like the higher tier, intermediate slash veteran players, and it's time. Uh, I helped out all of the newbies because I, I I recently noticed that a lot of people are asking me, um, oh, what's the best farm to make? What's the easiest farm to make? And honestly, yeah, grinders do make a nice amount of money, but if you're just starting out, you obviously don't have the funds to uh, purchase a spawner right away. So you're gonna want to start out small. You're gonna want to start out with the look at this. I got. Cool. Yeah, you're gonna want to start out with a sugarcane farm. But sugarcane farm is probably the easiest. Uh, farm that you could make and it's a uh, quite simple very fast you could probably make it in under half an hour 45 minutes and uh, it's, it, get, it gets the jobs done so as you guys can see insanity placed water on this side and then there's gonna be two rows of sugarcane so this will be sugarcane as well and then there's gonna be another water and then you're basically just gonna repeat this for however you however big you build your room so um, I'm basically just gonna mine out the rest of this room. I don't want to take up this entire episode doing this, but yeah. So this this is just a quick episode that I wanted to show you guys because a lot of people have been messaging me um, during the live stream yesterday. They were like, "D Field, how do I make a sugarcane farm? How do I make a nice, quick sugarcane farm?" So uh, 
decided to make a quick video for all of you new factions players out there and i hope this helps you guys um it's very very simple as you guys can see we literally built this room in less than uh, 10 minutes so just take some time it, if you do have faction allies it makes everything go by a lot faster ask, the, ask them for some help and uh yeah you guys will have a sugarcane farm up and running so once you guys have this first layer like i mean obviously you can have this go like all the way down like 200 blocks or something but you know to make it more efficient try to keep it under like 128 blocks away from like a central area so it'll keep uh all the sugar cane spawning at one time and uh, that's a little that's a little hard for some people because some people don't know how chunks work but um i could i'll probably do another video in the very near future on how to map chunks how to see what exactly land you're claiming how big your actual land is and yeah so um just continue on with this video for right now so insanity is gonna basically keep doing that so another tip that i have for you guys who are making um this sort of farm so a sugarcane farm so as you guys can see if i'm standing in the sugarcane there's a chance that mobs are going to spawn in this room because there's no light. So what you're going to want to do is, so you go three above where the sugar cane is going to grow. And then say if this is the ceiling, if this is the ceiling, you're going to want to break a hole, just a one block hole here, and then place a torch right there. Or even a glowstone, whatever, you, whatever you'd prefer. Torches are pretty much uh, pretty cheap, so you guys are uh, would have no problem getting a torch. So... Get a torch, put it in there, just put another one in there, put another one in there, you know, just space it out, space it out so you guys are having your entire room lit so nothing is going to spawn. Because just imagine a creeper spawning in here, ruining like your 30 minutes of work and then having to dig out everything again and uh, get more water sources. So this is basically what a sugar farm looks like. Hold on, Matthew, keep doing that. I'm going to go to warp shop, I'm going to buy another, a couple more sugar cane and then I'll fill up the rest of those rows. So for you people who, uh, who, for you people who are just starting on a factions world, I mean, even if you aren't playing on the Archon, you guys could still use this, um, this farming method on other PVP servers. Um, most most uh, faction servers have a sugarcane economy, as in like you guys can sell it at one of their shops for some, uh, for some profit. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's very easy, as you guys can see took us not even 15 minutes to make this and uh this is this will basically this is how it, me and insanity started our road to becoming rich so we started we started from the bottom just like everybody else <laughs> it's kind of funny to say but yeah so another quick tip right before we end the video guys as you guys can see here we made a quick row of one two three four five six rows of sugar cane that's what one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So twenty-five. Let me pull up a calculator really quickly. Let's say twenty-five times six times um wait twenty-five times six first, and then divide that by sixteen, and then multiply that by seventy-five. So this room, this small room right here is a quick 800 coins in profit now another thing on the mcmmo server you guys do have a herb lore skill and the higher your herb lore skill the more sugar cane you get per harvest so there's a chance that you'd get four sugar cane for breaking one of these and then that gets you even more money so that's how me and insanity started i hope you guys learned something new today so this is the one last quick tip I wanted to add right before we ended the video. Add a bunch of half slabs in between or above where the water sources are just like so. And this just makes it easier to collect and run through your sugarcane farm without having to worry and jumping and uh, worrying about all the water that's uh, in between all the plots. So yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hoped all of you new factions players learned something uh, new uh okay, make sure the sugar cane's already growing yeah the sugar cane is going you're placing <laughs> it matthew what are you talking about so yeah i hope you guys <laughs> learned something new if you guys like this video make sure you do slap that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i'm appreciating all of the support that you guys are giving to this faction series and uh i'm probably gonna look on doing more tutorials in the future as uh, a lot of people are asking how to make farms how to make certain grinders so those will be coming up in the upcoming weeks and yeah that's it for today's episode hope you guys learned a lot make sure you guys like and subscribe and once again this is d field and insanity and we will see you guys later